So today I'm going to show you um, how to troubleshoot and get this uh, stepper motor hat to work on this Raspberry Pi. Now the hat I bought is a WaveShare motor hat uh, and so this is a version 2.1 and I had quite a bit of difficulty getting this to work and so I now have it at a point now where I can continue with this and so what I'm building here is I'm building an autofocus device for my telescope. So here is my stepper motor, there's the Raspberry Pi, the hat, I've got a the Pi plugged into a great big battery here and the motor hat you can the way you can configure this is that you can put a single input and it will power both the hat and the Raspberry Pi itself and so you do not need a USB connection as you can see it is empty so the Raspberry Pi is being programmed with this with a single 12 volt input and that's really handy with uh, astrophotography because now I, instead of running a USB-C up there, I can just run a 12 volt and then I can have a distribution box doing the whole thing. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of the progress that I have made so far and I will show you how this works correctly and then I'm going to show you how it didn't work. So first, how it works. Um, I have separated the inputs out to the pairs. We have A plus and A minus and B plus and B minus and this is a bipolar stepper motor, which means it has two coils. And then I ran jumpers over here because this one did not con have the right connection. And so I had tried these and I think they will work, but I couldn't figure out why this wouldn't work. So I wound up snipping the connection off and then just ran jumpers over to here trying to troubleshoot whether it was an issue with the bus or the driver or the voltage. So I think it'll work just fine over here with to hardwire them in, but I'll explain that a bit later. But at the moment now I have it working. Now if you look here, this is Echos and this is um, how I'm going to be doing this. The hat, I have a indie driver for the WaveShare motor hat and if you want to do something like this I'll put a link below on how you can get this indie driver installed into Echoes. So now that it's loaded um, and we're on the focus module we can press a button here and we'll focus one direction and now watch and then it backs up. What is it doing? What it's doing is it's going past the focus point and then it comes back and it clears the backlash. Okay, because all gears in your focuser are going to have backlash. So that cleared the backlash so that it can go to a consistent point. So it goes a little bit past and then it comes back. So watch the paper. So now the paper is like this. And then when we're done with it again, you can see that it will be moved one and a quarter uh, rotations from where it started. Okay, so it was there and now it's one and a quarter here. And then the next time I do it, the piece of paper will be this direction. Okay, just like it did. Now, now that the backlash is cleared, if you want to move the focuser in the other direction, it does not need to clear the backlash because we've already cleared the backlash. And now it'll go one and a quarter in the opposite direction and stop. One and a quarter and the next time the paper will be like this. And then it'll be like this. Okay. So that's one and a quarter for each one of the revolutions. And so um, originally I wanted to do a direct drive onto the um, focuser knob, but it will not work uh, without gear reduction. So part of this will have to be, I'll have to do a gear reduction so that I can have the granularity. And so that will be an upcoming um, thing. Now, how does it, what did I have trouble with? Well, I had a lot of trouble. So over here, um, here's how you control the micro-stepping. And um, you can flip these little dip switches. The first three control the um, 
this motor driver. And so let's see how this behaves. Okay, so we've got a hum and it can't complete its task and it'll just hum in any direction. It just jiggles back and forth. All right. And so I ran into a lot of that. And um, so now I, you could try, we'll bring the third one down. And it may work in this setting. See, now it goes much faster. And it also goes farther. And the reason it goes farther is because we're changing the micro-stepping. And so uh, that took a long time, but for many, many hours, I couldn't get it to do anything other than jiggle. And it uh, was a combination of a number of settings. So let's put it back the way it was. All three of them off. All right. Now let's break it. And I'll show you how you can break it, but I didn't realize how it was broken. If we go over here to the um, options in the driver and the delay per, set, per step, let's put this to zero. This is how it was when I turned it on. And now let's try and run the motor. Nothing. All it does is jiggle back and forth. And I tried everything, and I didn't know what the problem was at the time. I adjusted the current, which you can adjust the current right here. And I went all the way to the top. That didn't work. I tried a different battery pack. I tried different connections and on and on and on. But I had no guidance. I had no, um, I had no way to figure out what was going on. So I started just hacking it. And so um, basically, you need to put this delay per, set, uh, per step in order for it to work. Now, if we take it all the way to the top and press the set button, now it'll go very slowly. And because it's going to send a pulse to move, it's going to wait, send a pulse to move, wait, send a pulse to move, wait. And so now I have a way of speeding up and slowing it down, but there is a minimum threshold where it simply will not work if you have zero uh, seconds in delay. And I think it's uh, microseconds or milliseconds. I'd have to go look at it. All right, so um, if you're trying to figure this out for yourself, this is the first thing that you should do. Well, not the first thing, but it is one of the things that you should do. Another thing is that uh, when the, it booted up, it was on the original board, okay? And I didn't realize the version because the, I'd already installed it into the Raspberry Pi. Let's try this, nothing, okay? And so um, there are many variables that I had to go through one at a time trying to get this to work. And so it may crash, we'll try it. Let's see if it'll work. Sometimes it crashes. Okay, it's going to work. And so uh, the version number is on the back side of this board. I did not realize that. Um, and so um, I had tried, um, you know, I had already tried it on 2.1, but didn't realize that I had to, to change the delay per, set, per step. And so that caused a problem. And so now we're at a point that I can move on to the next stage of the project, which is going to be to gear this down so that I can actually get this to focus on an actual telescope. So this would be an interactive video to show you uh, some of the basics of this uh, WaveShare Indy driver and how you might get started with a stepper motor. And you have to be very, very careful that you match up your pairs correctly on the board. So for example, this connection has A1, B1, A2, B2, which is completely different than this connection, which has A2, A1, B1, B2. That's a critical piece of information, and you have to understand that the motor pair in this case is 1 and 3 and 2 and 4. And so the way you figure that out is that you can get a multimeter 
and you can put it on the two terminals and if you have continuity between two terminals that's a motor pair and so you have to figure that out and be very careful so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to see if I can go back into these hardware terminals and the confusing thing was that in the wave share manual it, it showed five volt stepper motors here and so I was confused because I was getting and then when I put it over here I had the exact same behavior and so I'm not sure if they mean that this is only five volt or not or simply that, that most five volt connections have this type of prong either from these prongs right here or to hardwire them in there not quite sure but that's what I'll do next and I suspect that I'll be able to just plug these in directly to these green terminal blocks and be done with it but I'll show you that in the next video so that's it for today because I just want to show you how to get started with this uh, Indy driver and the Raspberry Pi motor have 